Hi guys, uh, I'm Thomas, the trainer from Top Done. And uh, in this video, I will walk you through the basic setup of the Phoenix Remote and uh, the MBCI Pro, uh, which is also we call the uh, B side box. Okay, and uh, now you can see there's a lot of stuff on this table, and it's a pretty, it's in a mess. And uh, but don't worry, I will uh, introduce one by one. And this is the first thing uh, in this box. We have a TCM control module, transmission control module uh, for from a BMW. And uh, uh, just for testing, this is just for testing. And here is the or Phoenix remote. And as you can see, you can connect it to the Phoenix remote through the cable to the to, uh, to the DLC, okay, to the OBD2 DLC. And we highly recommend that you connect a cable, an internet cable, onto the Phoenix remote because uh, when you are doing some kind of online programming, this kind of online functions, uh, the unstable connection may cause the failure of the performance. So uh, over here, you can just scroll down and you can see the Wi-Fi is closed, uh, is shut off, switch off, and uh, you turn on the internet cable connection and then that's it. And this is the basic setup of the Phoenix remote. And then later we're gonna have a look at the the B-side box, okay? Over here, you can see the B-side box is also connected to an internet cable and also a power supply. You gotta make sure it is connected, a, uh, a stable power supply. And then you can start to make appointment uh, on the Phoenix remote. You click the appointment right over here, and you're gonna select this uh, corresponding service item. Uh, for example, I'm gonna go do the, uh, I want someone to help me to do the online programming, then I select online programming. And the uh, problem description over here, I will just tap test. And you can tell your customer, uh, he can tap whatever he want, sorry. He can type whatever he want over here, you know, just for uh, describe a little bit of his problem to let you prepare in advance, all right? And it, then you can go select the vehicle. Over here, we have a BMW. So we go to the BMW, the G class, and G, uh, should be G chassis, okay? And make appointment. And for example, we wanna do it on tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, all right? Then I can publish the order right now. Once I publish the order, you can move back to your computer, all right? You can go check, uh, check out this order on the B-side platform, B-side service platform, which is on your PC. And uh, right over here, you can see the, over here, there's a grab order icon over here. Then you click on it, and the, this order information will jump out directly. Right? It pops out uh, automatically. And over here, there's some order information, the order number and the name of the customer and email and uh, the service product type is online programming and the description, blah, blah, blah. Uh, everything's right out here. And then you can start to initiate the uh, remote. But right before you initiate the remote, we highly recommend you open this remote controller before you do it. Okay, before you do it. Uh, it's because you open this remote controller right over here, then you can remotely control your customer's Phoenix remote uh, to give him some assistance, all right? For example, he doesn't know how to uh, make appointment or uh, he doesn't know how to, you know, just choose a, a service type or service item or the vehicle or something. You can just use this little uh, software over here to help, uh, help him out. Okay, uh, after you open the remote controller, then you go to the initiate remote. You can click on it, even if the time is not arrived, but you still can do it, okay? And initiate remote. And over here, uh, before you go to go through other, uh, go select the other items, we gonna, you gotta make sure that the SN right over here is exactly the same with the Phoenix remote that you are testing. Okay, the SN number right over here on your platform is exactly the same with your Phoenix remote that you are testing. And also the B-side box SN number is also should be the same with the MD side that you are testing right now. Okay, they, are, they should be the same. If you select the wrong one, uh, you will never receive the order. And then you go to select uh, service item. You go to the online programming. And uh, as for the diagnosis model, uh, mode, you can select or not, whatever, it doesn't matter. And go select the vehicle, it's a BMW and uh, G chassis. Yeah, and uh, that's all about it. And if you wanna leave a word for your customer, then you can type something right over here. But just for testing, I can submit. And uh, you gotta confirm the asset number is all correct. Then you go confirm. 
Then you will see on the Phoenix remote, once you click the submit, you will see that the Phoenix remote will start to read the VN number of the BMW TCM module. Okay, it will read uh, the VN number automatically. And you can see that re uh, read successfully. And over here, on this B-side box, once you get, uh, once you get connected, uh, you can see that it's connected to, uh, successfully connect to the server. It's right over here and it's configuring. And uh, it should, and some of the customers in different regions, they will, uh, there's a window that's gonna pop out uh, to let you select the server, just like this. Uh, yeah. Just like this, okay. Uh, you can see this uh, South Korea, Japan, Australia, and some other places, Milan, Germany. And it, there's a delay uh, number right over here. And you can select the, uh, the fastest one, the first one, South Korea. And uh, I said, okay, then it's connecting. Okay, as you can see over here on the Phoenix remote, it's successfully connect to the server and waiting to configuring something, okay? We'll just wait. Okay, once they, uh, they have established the connection successfully, you can start to do the remote diagnostics. Uh, how to do it? Right over here, on this B-side box, you can see there is a uh, OBD2 DLC, the 16-pin DLC, uh, and uh, you can connect any of your tools on it. For example, you have uh, this kind of snap-on stuff, uh, snap stuff, okay, snap-on snap tools, you can connect on it, or you got Altel stuff, and or Lounge, or some other brands of diagnostic tools, you can connect to this uh, OBD2 DLC. For now, we have a Phoenix Smart, and I just connect uh, the MD, another MD side on it, And uh, this little box right over here will turn on automatically. Just wait a second. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, right over here, you can see the connection type, right? Uh, it's Wi Fi, USB, and the Bluetooth. And we go to the scan and then we select the BMW and tap OK. Then we are connecting the Bluetooth. This little box and the Phoenix Smart is con uh, establishing the, establishing the uh, connections. OK, the vehicle is connecting, communicating. Okay, right over here, we go to the manually select because we only have a TCM control module, the transmission control module. So uh, we don't, uh, we can't go to the auto band. So we go to the manually select and it's a three series BMW, the G, uh, G chassis and uh, go to the drive. And right over here is the TCM transmission control module. Okay, we select, it's communicating. Okay, this is all the information of this uh, TCM. Uh, you can see the supplier or production date or any other stuff. And I click the, I can tap the continue and read the fault code. Okay, this is all the fault codes in, uh, stored in this TCM, okay? And that's more or less about uh, everything about the Phoenix remote uh, and the remote diagnostic steps. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to come to us, okay? And uh, I'd really appreciate it. See you.